Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Emma and today we are watching Money Heist Korea Joint Economic Area Season 1 Episode 4. If you want to watch our Uncuts This Reaction, the link to the Patreon is down below. So last episode we saw a big blunder. Um, at the end we had Moscow open the doors to her mint and stumble outside and essentially willing to give himself up. And he did this because he believed Denver, his son, had killed an innocent woman and wanted to turn himself in, I guess. So he decided to open the doors and sort of just stay outside. It was really bizarre, but then Denver saw what his dad was doing and he tried to cover him. Oh, all this is happening, they're on the phone to the professor who was literally fuming at, De at Berlin for being such a douchebag. Like, he's been bossing people around, thinking he's the leader of all and really screwing things up. He's doing things his own way and expecting everyone to follow his orders, even though the professor hasn't said to do anything like this. He, The professor since day one has always said, we are not killing anybody. We are just there for the money and that's it no one's getting hurt but berlin thinks back to his prison days and said about showing fear as an example you know showing fear makes them all obedient and it's just really messed up really like to be honest like the way he's been handling people i think is terrible the way he's going about things you know scaring people half to death so they follow his orders and it's really messed up. Denver luckily didn't go through with killing uh, the mistress. She <laughs> actually begged him to just shoot her in the leg so that, you know, it sounds like that she did get hurt but it didn't kill her. So she's currently in this room around the back somewhere bleeding on her thigh and really hope she makes this out out of here alive she's done such an amazing job of just keeping to us herself together and trying to help get out of this mess but berlin while on the phone to the professor came up with this plan of some of the hostages as well as some of the you know people in charge the criminals would form a sort of triangle outside covering berlin and uh, no, covering denver and moscow on the floor and sort of retreat back in but it didn't really work like that the police were surrounded they had snipers it was a, a whole thing <laughs> amongst one of those hostages was the director in this little triangle uh, plan and he had enough and he finally grew some balls and stood up for himself and others and pointed the gun back at them but the negotiator called to fire and it and shot the director. Now we don't know if he's alive or not and we're about to see the aftermath and I'm kind of not sure how this is going to play out because like I said last episode there's people still in the mint you know there's a load of hostages still in there and there's a couple of the criminals Berlin's still in the mint um so I'm just kind of wondering how that's going to work like are they going to shut the doors on them to the outside like just gotta sort of stay in there take watch like how's this gonna work out i'm excited to find out i want the police to sort of hone in on those people and just make some arrests because they need to make some progress they can't let this opportunity to get some answers and you know lock the criminals up away you know this is their once in a lifetime chance now and they've got a real good chance of getting some people away. Rio is usually the goofy one and now we're knowing he didn't complete medical school but he went and does know a few things or two. Ooh, it's <laughs> There's some tension between him and his father. They must have some history of not getting along. He wants... Oh, I'm starting to get a sense now. He really wants his son to complete medical school and sort of 
be head of the family, I suppose, with a good income. Yeah, I swear, director of the Mint does got some consequences to it. He owns it. Uh oh, they fucked up. That was all for nothing. They literally just shot him for no reason. Oh my god, that's gone right through his chest. Near his heart. Pio, <laughs> come on! God, my limbs watching over. He's right. It might be the only chance they get some some eyes in there. Wait, he's he just volunteered himself to go in. Yang Dong they're going to plant something. Oh, they've got an outfit. They're going to put... Oh my god, that would be so good if it works out. If they just plant someone in there. She needs medical attention now. Rio does not like blood. Oh, that's so sad. Awesome. Wonder what your mistress has uh oh, the professor recognizes him. Shit, I didn't think about that. But they are putting in another soldier in the red outfit, so maybe that that will help them. Oh. 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 Yeah, they're catching on because they yes. believe the professor's in there. Don't realize he's from another spot. Oh my god, his life is hanging by a thread. Oh my god, his life is hanging by a thread. Oh yeah, Denver's trying to sneak oh. medical equipment. <laughs> oh, I'm scared! <laughs> Oh, I don't want to see that! <laughs> don't think you've got to be really... Right. He's really giving him a good look. Uh-oh. So they're now not thinking there's an old... Uh, a different entrance there. But why is he just coming to that conclusion now? Surely he would have thought about this in all the planning he did before doing this heist. Makes no sense for him to just figure that out now, just because of the glasses. <gasps> what is that? That is creepy! <laughs> <gasps> oh my god! They've really upgraded the masks! 
They need to get out now. Shit, he made it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that was so close. And what is that supposedly? Oh, it's not good. What? Oh, I just said like he was unconscious at the time, so I don't know. Why did he have to make that up? That's really messed up. Oh, 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 Professor, have something. Why? Because you are not here. 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 She won't be for much longer. She's going into shock. You guys need to get her. Rio needs to help her. Oh, that bullet! That's been in her the whole time! See, you did well, Rio. Come on. Keep yourself together. Is he do Is he donating blood for her? These two are so cute now. Oh my god. Oh, he's literally donating his blood to her. And you've got to. You can't just do that. Just no one would just do that. You've got to really care for someone to do that. And look, he's getting all awkward. Though <laughs> he likes her, it's evident now. I wasn't sure before, but now I know. They're cute. Oh. Tokyo's in charge now. Oh, we'll have tied him up. Oh, this is the tapped phone that was that's in the police. They don't know about it. Uh oh. She wants to see the professor. She's an amazing woman. He's trying to get her to crawl back to him. This is amusing. Oh, he didn't make it out. How have they not noticed that one of their policemen is not out? So the professor is getting it on with the negotiator. Jeez, that escalated fast, you know. Really, they would be a cute couple. But the thing is, <laughs> he's the guy behind all of her stress. All of her worries. If, what's keeping her up at night? She, he's the reason. It's so sad because she's getting used. But they would be good together. I was not expecting uh, 
such a happy-ish ending to this episode. I'm so glad that Berlin is locked up in that room. He needed to be stopped and I'm so glad they put an end to it. Um, he just needed to take away the reins and I'm glad the professor did that. He's finally saw sense and everyone's seen sense. I'm I'm happy about. Berlin was just driving them into ruin, chaos. So I'm glad they've put Tokyo in charge because she's she was she's one of my favourites, I think. You know, we saw her backstory first. She's always been the one that's really well a, being very obedient with the professor and They've really teased this episode if she and the professor have some history, have something going on, if she has a crush on him or whatever. And it does beg the question if she does or not, because she is very close to him in a weird way. Like she, she really follows his orders to a T and, you know, is, is like a spokesperson for him. But she's not really in it for the money. She just... Like they keep saying, they they keep saying that, you know, she's just in it for him. But I wonder why. Maybe we'll find out next episode. Because I'm intrigued what her motives are. She says everyone has her history. And that's true. I just want to know what hers is. Because it seems to be quite personal. On the topic of uh, the mistress in Denver, that's, that's a whole thing. I was so... I knew, obviously, that Denver had a very big soft spot for her. I didn't quite realise he was willing to put his life on the line for her. He stepped in front of that loaded gun that Berlin was pointing at him for her and he's also donating his blood. He was willing to try and get the bullet out of her. There is something going on and I don't care. He clearly feels something for her and I think she's starting to see that at the end there. Because she saw she was looking over, she was smiling, she was actually relatively hopeful in her appearance. All thanks to him, you know, he, he's been taking good care of her. And I think his father, Moscow, is sort of clocking that. Um, you know, that his son really does care for her. And it's a surprise, we didn't see this coming. Like, so strong, these emotions so strong. And... I'm here for it. They would be so adorable. And I'm hoping when they get out of this that they come out alive and can actually stay in contact. The police have made very minimal progress. I'm so surprised they're taking this long to actually get anything done. They've been in the heist for 53 hours so far and they haven't really done much good. They've actually made things worse. We had the one of the main guys that's working alongside the negotiator. He went in as a uh, a nurse, uh, practice doctor, whatever. But and they hid the camera in his glasses. It was a really good idea, but that backfired very quickly when they recognised him. Obviously, the professor had seen him before when he went into the tent. But yeah, they he did make it in, and Denver got some supplies while he was there. Um, but yeah, he, he tried and they switched the masks. Like why? They're so cunning. And Rio tapped his phone. So now even when it's turned off, he can hear them. And we could hear in that end bit that they were talking and they, we did, we didn't hear much, but just shows that, you know, they're one step ahead of them yet again. So they really, the police really need to up their game next episode. They need to try and put a stop to this. And what's worse is the professor's getting closer to the negotiator. He's sort of inviting her into his life. Um, still keeping her obviously at arm's reach from everything. But if he is getting closer to her, then he's going to have more access to information. It really does not benefit the police at all. I, I'm really happy to see Tokyo take a step up this episode. She's really holding her own. Her character development is great. She's really stepping up to the challenge of wanting to lead and seeing that Berlin is a hot mess and is driving them into failure. 
and she's stepping up. Tokyo's the one that's deciding to lead at the moment and I'm happy to see it. She's a fair person and she's shown compassion to people. You know, she, again, she follows the director's, or, um, follows the professor's orders and that's someone that he's going to want in the front seat driving this. So I think that was a good call and they need to make sure Berlin is locked up tight. I <laughs> don't want him escaping. But at the end there, we saw one of the police was still stuck inside that room and he didn't make it out. I still can't believe they never noticed he didn't make it out, like the guys that were with him. They could have just said to the police, like, uh, my guy is still in there. Like, they didn't say anything. But I'm kind of glad he's in there because he could, he's blended in with the people. He could try and fit in. Send, and he had that little beeper thing. Was that like a sort of, uh, signal to the police or something? I'm not too sure, but... I would hope he gets some good information posing as as one of them. It would benefit the police greatly and he could orchestrate an escape. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching my reaction to Money Heist Korea, Joint Economic Area, Season 1, Episode 4. If you want to watch my uncuts to this reaction, the link to the Patreon is down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I will see you next time for Episode 5. Bye!